Hey dorks, are you broke and hungry? I'ma teach you some shit. What? Maybe you should stop watching One Piece and start cooking One Piece. I said to myself, I have realized recently that I've run into a lot of people my age who either love to cook, cook all the time, it's what they do, it's what they love, or they don't know how to cook at all. They have no go-to recipes. So today I'm gonna show you guys a little recipe to throw in your arsenals to whip together. Uh, it's great if you're having like a lot of friends over, it's easy to make, it's quick. Uh, and you can also just like freeze it and thaw it and like, boom, you have your own lean cuisines. You're welcome, loser. Anyway, so what you're gonna need is about, I'd say like a pound of chicken. Today I'm working with about two pounds because I'm cooking for men and myself and chicken's great. Um, I use chicken thighs. It tends to just keep the stew uh, or curry a little juicier. Um, I'm going with three gold potatoes. They're pretty beefy ones too. Handful of baby carrots. I'd normally peel those big guys and do like nice little cuts, uh, but I'm teaching you the quick way. You're welcome. And some onion, a little bit of onion there. Uh, salt and pepper to taste. Uh, we're gonna serve it with some soft boiled eggs and rice and uh, some apples, good old apples. Ryuk would be very happy. Um, I know, it's weird. Apples and curry, you say, why? Because Sanji does it, that's why. And we trust what Sanji says and does. Today I'm just gonna use golden curry because it's cheap, it's easy, it's delicious. You're gonna love it. You can get this at pretty much any grocery store. So yeah, let's get started. Also, you're gonna want some chicken stock. So now I'm gonna talk to you about what we do. We're gonna do some cooking and some stuff and too. Everything is already washed, already washed, yeah, yeah. Already washed, already washed, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna want like some pretty like good, you can really vary with how big you make these potatoes. They can be big beefy guys. They can be itty bitty boys. No, oh, everybody knows the potatoes are male. So with the carrots, um, what I normally do is just kind of like rotate them as I'm cutting them. That's just me though. Cut them however you feel like. And again, like you want them to be like big stew-tastic chunks, um, but you don't want them to be like too large. So find a happy in between, whatever you like. You can make it a few different ways a few different times uh, and then just do what feels right. Apple, 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 apple. So yeah, I wasn't sure uh, why Sanji used apples at first. I'd never heard of, like, of apples as an ingredient in curry, but apparently it is. That's all I have to say on that matter. You wanna peel these first. Don't be a dummy and just go right for this thing. You definitely wanna peel it. So I just, I just fucked myself. But yeah, uh, I'm full of regret and that's okay. Deal with you later. Apples. I'll go over and get this. This chicky taken care of. And again, just big chunks. They don't have to be pretty. Uh, you want to get as much of like the gristle and fat off as you can. Like you don't want any of like this big like this big guy right here. <sighs> yeah. Here's a fun fact, kids. Keep your knives sharp and your wits sharper that i'm so sorry world but no a sharp knife does make all the difference uh as does a good cutting board um if you also want to make your life easier put um your chicken in the freezer freeze it for a little bit um thaw it for a little bit don't you don't want it to be like solid but after you freeze it it just makes it a little easier to cut <laughs> You guys ready to walk and roll? Walk and roll. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this started at like a medium high heat. I'm gonna use some butter. Um, just gonna get about a tablespoon. Uh, just kidding, two tablespoons. Two tablespoons worth of unsalted butter in there. Bring that chicken over. Get this seasoned with a little bit of salt and pepper. So now that's on medium high, 
gonna drop all that chicken in there. You don't want to use too much salt, don't want to overpower anything. Because um, that curry base is already going to have some base seasonings in it. So, yeah. Don't got to worry too much. Here we go. I'm going to put in a little bit more of the pepper. And again, make sure it's not too much. Just want to bring out the actual, like, natural flavors of the chicken there. All right. Cool. So I'm gonna reduce that heat now that everything kind of has that like basic opaqueness to it. Put it over there. Now in that same pan, we're gonna go ahead and rinse and repeat. And by that I mean, we're gonna take out another tablespoon of butter and melt it down in there. And uh, next up, the uh, missing member from the yearbook, the not pictured. We're gonna get some garlic in there. I totally forgot to uh, mention, we got about two cloves worth. And then we're gonna add in some onions. I like to keep them kind of like long. And, and kind of on the flip side, we wanted to get that chicken opaque. We're gonna wanna get these onions translucent before we add anything else in. Once these wonderful onions are all nice and translucent enough, we're gonna add the rest of our veggies, including those apples. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and mix until, uh, uh, you know, it looks fine or whatever. Just keep fucking stirring and then put the chicken in. Trust me, it's gonna be great. Once we get the chicken and the broth in, we're gonna let it again kind of simmer a little bit longer, get all those flavors incorporated. And once it's got this beautiful golden color going, we're gonna pop in those curry cubes and then we're just gonna let it cook down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once it's smelling all good and looking even better, uh, it's ready. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the most important part. You are not come on! You can't get those friends together and can pie. And then it's time to serve this bad boy up. Get that fluffy white rice in there, a couple dollops of that beautiful golden Sanji curry, and uh, of course, you can't forget the very most important part, a garnish of a little soft boiled egg. Or I mean, I guess hard boiled if you uh, walked away from the oven and uh, it's fine. And enjoy. And boots and cats and things in our house. We got lots of boots and cats and maybe a mouse or two under the floor or 